In the last video, we showed you how to add nodes, and we learned and kind of understood what nodes are, so we can see or focus in on one row at a time. So next what we want to do is, let's say we want to see the list of states from our states table in our SQL file, our SQL database. What we do first is, let's go ahead and let's remove the state that we've added. And then what we want to do is we want to come over to the state's data grid. See where it says state name? Select it. Don't drag it over just yet. Change it from text box to combo box. Then go ahead and drag this over. Next what you want to do is we want to actually manipulate the state data name. So if we click on the node element and then we see this little arrow, we're going to say use data bound items. Check it and we get these options right here. So the data source we're going to use is we're going to use the state's binding source and then the selected value we're going to use, and I'll explain the rest of it afterwards, is we're going to select the resident binding source and then the state. Next you want to come over to the member that you want to display. So the member we want to display is obviously the name. So we want to see the name, but we want to bind the state code, which is the abbreviation, to the residence table that shows up in the data grid. So if we go ahead and we save that, and then we click Start, and run our application, it should populate. Notice it says KY Kentucky. It automatically tells us that this is the state we're in. So now if I said, well, I want to change it to Colorado, I can click on Colorado and then click on something else and notice that the state changes. Same thing for Mississippi. I can change it to South Carolina, click off it, and it changes it right there. Continue on with the next video.